Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Lam Weekend from Alpha IVF. Happy to be here. Today I'm going to discuss and share about a topic regarding endometriosis and infertility. Okay. Endometriosis is a very common gynecological problem. 10% of the women in reproductive age group has endometriosis. Besides that, 30 to 50% of women with infertility has endometriosis. Endometriosis is defined as an endometrium tissue is grow outside the uterus, meaning that it can grow on the outside the wall of the uterus, it can grow to the ovaries, it can grow to the fallopian tubes. Okay. Okay. Occasionally the endometrial like tissue also will seeping through into the wall of the womb or we call the adenomyosis. From this diagram, we also can see okay, the black dot here, meaning that is a the endometriotic spot seeping inside the wall of the womb. We call the adenomyosis. The rest is a seeping through the tubes, the ovaries, or the back. You see the back of the the vagina wall. The actual cause of the endometriosis is unknown. There are several theories being proposed. But the commonest uh, purpose to suggest that is a retrograde menstruation, meaning that during menstruation, the, the endometrial tissue and blood is uh, flows back up into the fallopian tubes, and then the endometrial tissue get implanted in the pelvic region, especially the fallopian tube or the ovaries. Just like the endometrial tissue, the displaced endometrial tissue will continue to thicken and bleed for every menstrual cycle. So subsequently, it will cause all the inflammation process, the scarring, the adhesion, and the blood. When the blood is accumulated in the ovaries, and then it forms a endometrioma, or also known as a chocolate cyst. The symptoms of the endometriosis uh, are various. Okay. Usually it's a pain, pain, pain. The menstrual pain is a very common uh, symptom the woman will, will complain of. Secondly, it's a pain during intercourse or during the sexual, sexual activity. Thirdly, the pain during bowel movement or urination, especially menstrual cycle. The other symptoms uh, include uh, excessive uh, menstrual bleeding or intermenstrual bleeding. Of course, is a infertility concerns. Most of the most of the endometriosis being diagnosed when the the couple come for the first uh, fertility assessment. The other symptoms such as a uh, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, bloatedness also is very common symptoms. The gold standard of diagnosis of endometriosis is based on the endoscopy. Then the surgeon will assess the pelvic organs and to look for any signs of the endometriosis. That's the gold standard. At the same setting, if uh, endometriosis uh, exists, the surgeon will do the therapeutic operation to remove the endometriosis uh, tissue, scarring uh, and the scar tissue at the same setting. Okay. The other modalities we can use, the second is uh, do the pelvic examination or the pelvic ultrasound. MRI is the other examination we can think of to assess the extensiveness of the endometriosis. How does endometriosis affect infertility? There are several mechanisms being proposed to explain association between endometriosis and infertility. Firstly, endometriotic tissue can consume the normal ovarian tissue. The destruction of the normal histological structure of the ovaries can reduce the ovarian reserve. Once the ovarian reserve diminishes, 
you can affect the fertility property significantly. Secondly, the endometriosis causing a lot of scarring, uh, fibrosis, uh, inflammation, adhesion, we can cause a distortion of the pelvic anatomy. Especially the fibrin tube, it can cause the fibrin tube to be blockage. Secondly, it can affect and impact the transportation of the sperm to the outside. Thirdly, we can affect the outside uh, pick up by the fibrin end. All this will affect the fertilization and transportation uh, in the fertility point of view. Thirdly, the endometriosis will cause the scarring and the destruction over the endometrium and make the implantation uh, difficult. Treatment for endometriosis can be divided into two, either medical treatment or surgical treatment. Medical treatment, we can subdivide into two. This is a medication for pain management. Secondly, is a hormonal therapy. The pain management and hormonal therapy does not improve the fertility concern, either during or after the treatment. If a patient comes to us for the fertility concerns, medical treatment is not our priority. Usually, we will assess the patient, then we will offer either surgery or ART. ART stands for Assisted Reproductive Therapy or IVF. Surgery will be offered to remove the scar tissue, adhesion, endometriotic cyst to restore fertility. Okay. Surgery must be complete to ensure lower recurrence risk and uh, to avoid second repeated operation. Because the endometriosis is a progressive disease, the high incidence of a recurrence uh, is, uh, is stated 20% at two years and 50% at five years. The recurrence risk is uh, extremely high. So that if before we counsel the patient for the surgery, so a, a, a extensive discussion and counseling must be done between the surgeon and the patient. Therefore, decision for operation must be extensive and carefully because the, for every operation, especially uh, involve the ovaries, we can diminish the ovarian reserve, especially perform the cystectomy or removal of the endometrioma. This process is permanent and irreversible. For diminished ovarian reserve, it can reduce the fertility property significantly. So, the decision of the operation should be tailored according to the patient progression of the disease and the patient expectation. In conclusion, endometriosis is a complex disease to treat and impose a huge impact on the quality of life of the patients so that the treatment must be tailored according to the patient's needs and expectation without compromise her quality of life and the fertility concerns. Thank you.